John Polrai. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. If you're following pop culture, celebrity news, you might know that Brad Pitt has been in a pretty big legal battle with Angelina Jolie, and she wanted pretty much full custody over their children. What I mean by pretty much is she wanted to give him visitation rights on the weekends, something like that. But he wanted 50-50 joint custody, and as you could see, it looks like he got it. So, this is from TMZ, and they say, Brad Pitt wins 50-50 joint custody, big loss for Angelina. And I'll say this, I don't know her so well, so take this with a grain of salt, but she seems a little unstable to me. She doesn't seem like she'd make the best mother to me, and it seemed like she wanted the kids for reasons unknown. I personally think, again, grain of salt here, because I don't know her so well, she probably wanted to teach them all kind of ideologies that are going around now that started recently about identity politics and things like that. And Brad Pitt seems like more of a stand-up guy, common sense guy. He probably didn't want to. That's my personal speculation. But I wouldn't be surprised if that was part of it. Angelina had been gunning for sole custody and at the time only wanted Brad to have supervised visitation, but the judge felt her arguments that Brad was not a suitable parent lacked credibility. This after numerous witnesses, including shrinks, testified in the trial. Okay, so it wasn't quite weekends, but yeah, you know, she wanted pretty much 100% custody and, you know, I don't know, man, seems like Brad Pitt, again, is pretty together. You could usually get a sense of who's at least stable and unstable by the way they act in public and the statements they make. Because let's face it, when you make a statement, when you have a platform of millions of people, you know there are consequences to that. Some things come out impulsively. That happens to everybody, but not everything comes out impulsively. So when you take everything someone's ever said and you kind of take an average on how stable or unstable it is or what amount of common sense it has or doesn't have, you can get an idea of that person. I like to mention Miss Amber on this channel quite a bit and as you guys can see on average, when she takes interviews and speaks in public and posts on Instagram, a lot of them are, you know, kind of questionable as to why she's doing it, what she's doing it for. Some of them are fake. A lot of it's virtue signaling. So, you know, you can get an idea of who she is because she has to consciously think before she posts that stuff and she does it. And it's the same thing with anybody in the media who's famous. You get to think about what you say before you put it out there, with a few exceptions of things that leak out or impulsive things were only human. They keep going. A source connected to Brad tells TMZ he's over the moon. The ruling is tentative, but typically tentative rulings are just a formality before they become final. The NY Post, NY Post, the New York Post, let's just say, first reported the ruling. So here they give a little history on an alleged physical confrontation. Angelina filed for divorce in 2016. This after Brad allegedly got into a physical confrontation on a private jet with one of their kids. At a point, he was estranged from all the kids and ultimately got supervised visitation. This turnaround is a big legal victory for Pitt. If I'm not mistaken, I think that Miss Amber said something happened on a private jet, which might have also been around 2016. I mean, all these stars have private jets and coincidences can happen, and maybe my memory's not serving me correctly, but I could have sworn I heard that detail someplace. So, I don't know, anything that reminds me of that is slightly suspicious. Anyway, you guys of course let me know what you think down below, leave a comment if you can, a like, subscribe if you're still listening to this little ramble, this little piece of celebrity news, because if you like this video you'll probably like the channel. I'm usually doing Depp vs. Heard, Marilyn Manson, little Megan Mark, or whatever comes up. And if you don't subscribe, I'd be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.